In this video, I'm going to explain how the Arrhenius equation was actually originally derived, so you can see where this equation actually comes from. So let's start with some key definitions that you're going to need to know to be able to follow this derivation. So we're going to define A as the Arrhenius constant, or also known as the Arrhenius factor. T is going to be the temperature, Ea is the activation energy, R is the commonly used gas constant, and K is going to be the rate constant for the reaction. And fundamentally, the derivation of the Arrhenius equation comes from experimental data. So basically, Arrhenius was looking at changing the temperature of a reaction and measuring the associated rate constant for that reaction. And he tried plotting lots and lots and lots of different combinations and didn't get very far. But when he plotted LNK against 1 over T, something very magical happened, and he got a perfect straight line. And in science, whenever you plot two sets of data and get a very perfect straight line, that is telling you that something interesting there is going on. And so what you can do from this is you can actually start looking at various things. You can look at the intercept, and he defined the intercept to be ln of a. So you're basically extrapolating backwards to an infinite temperature because the origin of this graph at zero here will be one over t and to make this become zero you're going to have to have an infinite temperature for the inverse temperature to end up being zero so he defined ln of a where a is the Arrhenius factor to be the intercept of this graph and the interesting thing is it turns out that the gradient of this line is exactly equal to the negative of the activation energy divided by the gas constant. And so we have something interesting here. We have a perfect straight line. And when you have a straight line, the obvious equation is y equals mx plus c, where m is your gradient and c is your y-intercept. So when we look at the graph here, we've got everything we need to substitute in here. The LNK is going to be Y. The gradient is M. So this is the minus EA over R. We'll go in for M. Our X is our inverse temperature 1 over T. And we've got an intercept which has been defined as LNA, where A is your Arrhenius constant. And if we just substitute all of those things in, we get this expression here. And we can manipulate this expression to get the famous normal form of the Arrhenius equation. There is, of course, various forms. So this is one form of the Arrhenius equation that you often see. And this simply comes from multiplying the denominator here, the R and T together, and that gives you that expression. You can further manipulate this. So I'm going to change the way that I write this to put the LNA first. Very simple swap. Then we can take E of both sides. And you should know that E to the ln, that just cancels out. And so you'll be left with K there. So we've got K here. I'm splitting this up using another property. So when we've got E to the power of something minus something, that's the same as multiplying E to the power of this times E to the power of the other part. So these two are multiplied. And in exactly the same way as E to the ln K was K, E to the ln A is simply going to be A. And there we have the other form of the Arrhenius equation. So I hope this helped you understand where the Arrhenius equation actually came from. If this video was helpful to you, please like and subscribe below. And finally, thank you very much for watching.